to the latest now on local COVID vaccinations. As of this morning, operators were taking thousands of calls as the WellMed vaccination hotline opened once again. However, many were still left without an appointment. Alicia Barrera visited one of the two locations for Moderna vaccinations to see how WellMed is handling the surge in calls. The distributions for those 9,000 Moderna vaccines are set to begin at WellMed locations on Monday, February 1st. And those who qualify include healthcare workers on the front lines, those 65 years and older, as well as those in the 18 year to 64 year old bracket that have any chronic health disease as determined by the CDC. The WellMed COVID-19 vaccination hotline continues to be flooded with calls people anxious to register for the weapon against the virus. We have uh, up to 120 operators that have been trained to answer our phones. Um, anywhere up to 60 people at a given time are answering phones. We're expanding that quickly, um, doing everything we can to get through the large numbers of phone calls that we're receiving. Operators will take calls until 8 p.m. daily or until all 9,000 slots are filled. We're allowing uh, an individual person to register two people in their household who are eligible for vaccination. In addition to that, we're also allowing individuals who call to register their parents who are over the age of 65 um, and may not be able to make that phone call for themselves. The goal, reducing wait times through the hotline, but once in the queue, callers may have to wait three to 15 minutes to speak to an operator. WellMed staff setting appointments to either the Cisneros or Treviño Lopez Senior Centers. If you register two people in your family plus your elderly parents, that phone call may take 10 to 12 minutes. And so people just have to be patient. And Dr. Almali says if you sign up, make sure you show up for your first and second appointments for the vaccine. Please. Uh, be honest, worry about your neighbor. It really does make it very difficult for us when people, first of all, we're not a walk-in clinic. So if someone doesn't show up, we have to scramble to find someone to give that dose to and we're not taking people off of the street because that creates crowds and frenzies and does the exact opposite of what we want to do. Health officials helping administer the vaccine say they're at the mercy of the state and are hopeful they'll continue to receive more doses weekly. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. And we want to remind you that we are re-airing our one hour special on the COVID-19 vaccines. We answer some of the biggest questions about those vaccines, the science behind them, and we address some of the myths that are out there. You can watch it starting at 6 p.m. right here on KSAT. You can also catch it on the KSAT.com website and on KSAT TV on the app.